Hey friends, today we are at the Magic Kingdom and we are celebrating its 50th anniversary, the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World Resort. We're gonna ride some rides, especially opening day attraction rides, and also eat some of the new 50th anniversary food. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is amazing. Oh, oh, look at those shoes! <laughs> it is super crowded in here, but the atmosphere is amazing. Everybody is having a great time. They're laughing, they're smiling. I've got my special 50th anniversary hat that my friends made me. Thank you so much, Jen and Carrie, and I'm excited for the day. And plus, I just took a picture with somebody who had a Polaroid camera, so now I have a Polaroid of myself. Take a look at this. Some of Walt Disney World's original cast members right here. This is amazing. They've all got these special hats on that say Walt Disney World original. And I just think it's, it's beautiful. They have a Life magazine, an original Life magazine with the opening day of Walt Disney World and all the cast members in front of the castle just like they're doing right now and they're recreating the photo. How cool is that? Okay, seeing some of the original Walt Disney World cast members recreating that photo was probably one of the most magical things I think I've ever seen. And they were so happy and some of them actually remembered where they were standing. There was a lot more than there are right now. Now, right now I'd say there's about 30 or 40 of them, but wow, what a magical moment that was actually. On behalf of all of our cast, thank you for 15 years of magic. And now let's make some new memories. The magic is calling. really special and I believe that that's the only cavalcade that kind of has anything to do with the 50th anniversary. The rest of them are the regular cavalcades but I like that they added that and it's kind of like a parade with the performance so very cool. It is 12.30 in the afternoon and the line to get in the Emporium is wrapping all the way around the Emporium. I mean I don't know how long the wait is I would guess maybe an hour or so but the merchandise is selling, I would say. One of the best things I love about coming to anniversary, opening day festivities, is always seeing a lot of fun people and friends just hanging out. And now we're gonna actually get together and do a cool little photo or video well, with some great friends, and it's gonna be fun. Looks like we're gonna be doing a TikTok. We're gonna be doing the mannequin challenge and bringing it back here. And it's gonna be fun because we're gonna do it in front of the castle right here in the hubgrass. So I'm gonna set the camera up and we're just gonna go with it. Thanks to my friend Orlando Mike for the wonderful camera work, friend. <laughs> Happy 50th anniversary! Happy 50th anniversary, Walt Disney World! Yeah. 
okay that was super fun hanging out in the hub grass with some friends making cool videos and uh, if you want to see the actual full videos you can uh, either see it on TikTok, paging Mr. Morrow or Instagram and I'll share everyone's video around but now I think I want to go ride one of my favorite opening day attractions to help celebrate the 50th anniversary here and uh, yeah I'm just having a great time Step right up, Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Opening day attraction and one of my favorite opening day attractions. And it's one of the rides you don't have to wear a mask to actually ride. So we're gonna kick it off right here. Oh, and it's gonna feel so good. The water's back, I can see it. And I don't know, Dumbo always cools me off. Step right up, pick a Dumbo, any Dumbo, any color. I think we'll do a purple, a purple Dumbo. Oh, we're going all the way up. <laughs> there we go look at that can you believe people were riding this in 1971 how amazing and magical <laughs> I love it oh I feel so great right now it feels so amazing <laughs> I think we're gonna go down I like to go up I like to go down I still can't get over it opening day attraction right here and we get to stare at Dumbo's butt <laughs> the view never changes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, we're going down. Look at that water. It smells amazing. There we go. That's the way. Starting off the day strong with our first ride in opening day attraction, a little Dumbo. And now I think we're going to uh, get something to eat. You know, we're going to get something to eat, maybe do a little ride, eat, and uh, maybe look for merchandise. It's going to be a little difficult. The merchandise lines are so long. But I already got a lot of fancy 50th stuff. I have this wonderful 50th fedora that my friends made me, and uh, I've got a 50th magic band. So I just kind of want to show you guys. I'm not really looking to buy anything. Thing. As I was thinking of places to go and have lunch, one place in particular I was thinking would be perfect for the 50th anniversary, right here inside the castle at Cinderella's Royal Table. How awesome, what an amazing 50th anniversary lunch. I have only eaten here once before, so it's gonna be amazing to be back. And now we get to go inside Cinderella Castle. Here we go, look at this. Lords and ladies, during your dining experience, Castle Royalty may make a quick surprise stop by the restaurant. That is pretty amazing. Nice little red carpet. Oh, this is really awesome. Happy to be back in here. Isn't it just so magical to be in here? I am so excited. Even the elevator looks really fancy. But we're going to take the stairs. Oh, wow. I'm so happy to be here. Look at that. <laughs> what a great day. I do want to try some of the 50th anniversary snacks, so maybe we'll do some of that after lunch. I mean, we're going to be here all day long. Wow, look at it in here. Isn't it beautiful? And we're going to be able to look out at the Magic Kingdom through those big windows. And we're going to see Cinderella herself. I'm going to be enjoying lunch with some friends of mine right here. And it's Jen's birthday, actually. Yeah. And she's the one that made me my 50th fedora. Her and my other friend, Carrie. And isn't that amazing? Yeah, I, I'm excited. Fun. We're going to get royal 50th wine flights. Or champagne flights, right? But yes, popping bottles in the castle. That's what you got to do. Fancy. That's the way. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. The royal celebration flight. To celebrate a wish your heart makes, Enchante Champagne is exclusively sold at Walt Disney World. And look at for the 50th. This is going to be so fun. I'm not a big uh, champagne fan, but when it's the 50th, you got to go for it. And it's on the 50th. Didn't look at the this. Or with her, but now this one, it seems to happen a lot. <laughs> we got boba balls in one, yes. a puree in the other. And then 14 karat gold in this one. That is some fanciness right there. Yes. Yes. All for the 50th. That's right. All for the 50th. Well, our kingdom always has some wonderful surprises, doesn't it? Absolutely. I love it. I may have to go get another bottle. Another oh, no. fresh one. Shunt 
day. <laughs> Cheers to the Royal Celebration flight. Yes. <laughs> Happy 50th. On Chante. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but. Nice, nice to meet you too. I like that. I do. And I'm going to dip my strawberry in it. I'm going to dip the strawberry in and then take a bite. Is that what you're supposed to do? Of course. You can do whatever you want. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Oh, so here is the blue carousel and the boba. Cheers! Happy 50th! <laughs> Happy 50th. Oh yeah, I do like that. And I got a boba ball. There you go. It increases the flavor. Enchanté. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the 20, or not 24, 14 karat. Yeah. 14. The 14 karat gold. Okay, Bruno, 24 karat. Yes! Happy anniversary. <laughs> 14 karat gold flakes inside this champagne. <laughs> I've already touched the back. That is good. Very sweet, not too dry, more or less mimosa style. Very good, I like it. Not only do they have a 50th anniversary drink for adults, which that's what this is, full of champagne, but they also have something for everyone, including this little nifty thing. It's a lemonade, and this is on a secret menu, and you drop the little Mickey Mouse in there, and it changes color, like that right there. Look at that, isn't that so fancy? Oh wow, it does really sparkle. Yeah. Wow, I can't wait to try this, but I kind of don't want to take my Mickey out. I really like him. <laughs> just drink regular lemonade. I know, right? Yeah. But <laughs> he sits right on top there. All right, well, we're going to have to drop him in there. It's going to have to happen. <laughs> oh, grab your wishing star. Oh, wish, wish. <laughs> Perfect. Now we got our Mickey on top of the cup right here, and we're gonna drop them in, and it's gonna change colors. Look at this. Oh wow! The magic. The magic is happening. Wow, I love it. <laughs> now it's time for the taste test here. Oh, it is good. It's like a strawberry lemonade. Very nice. Since I have a little bit of the champagne left, I think we're going to spike the lemonade. That's the way. There we go. <laughs> oh, and this one has strawberry puree in there. Perfect. Perfect, look at that. Now it's gonna be extra special. Oh, and it made it redder. I like that. Now it's a secret enchante. <laughs> if you have never eaten at Cinderella's Royal Table, it's a prefix menu. So you pick your appetizer, your entree, and your dessert. And for my appetizer, I ended up getting the soup of the day. And it's a minestrone, and it looks good. You know I love soup. But wow, I'm excited to try this. My salad. You missed the charcuterie though on the boat. Good soup. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a good soup right there. I'm very happy I got this actually. I don't know if that's a little bit of carrot in there, but I like it. I mean, it would be great if I had some Italian wedding, but this'll do, this'll do. <laughs> and we just got the notification right there. The park hopper option is temporarily unavailable for Magic Kingdom. Nobody can get in. It's 4.03 and that's it. They're cut off. Holy moly. I don't think this has ever happened. Today's the first time it's happened. That is amazing. And now it's time for the main event. I ended up getting the beef tenderloin with Brussels sprouts and whipped potatoes. And look at this bad boy. Oh my lord. It looks so, so good. We're gonna cut into this bad boy right here. Oh wow. High expectations here. Oh my lord. This is gonna be good, I can tell you that already. 
We're gonna try it on its own and then I'm gonna add some of that whipped uh, potatoes on there. But I think this is gonna be good just on its own too. That is cooked beautifully. So, so good, easily cuttable. And now it's time to grab a little of the whipped potatoes, a little bit of the steak. Bada boom, bada bang, and that's gonna be how I like it the best. Oh yeah, I gotta get the sauce too. Gotta soak it all up. I got couscous. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> you got couscous. I got couscous. Oh, man. <laughs> I should have got. You want some couscous? I should have got what my friend got because he's got couscous. You want a little, you want a little, a little couscous? You want a little couscous? Here's a little couscous for you. <laughs> Gus got couscous. Gus, 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 Gus and couscous. couscous. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the steak. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your That did not stand a chance. It's much too good. Very, very good, actually. Now I'm gonna actually switch it over from champagne to the Tras Pistoli. And look at this, it's a very dark beer, but it's not very like high on the IBA charts. Oh, it's gonna be a difficult pour, but I think I can do it. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Oh yeah, look at that. Right down the center, absolutely. Amazing. This looks so, so good. And it's nice to be able to just come inside Cinderella Castle, have some champagne, have some beer, take in all of the beautiful views, and enjoy the 50th anniversary. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. <laughs> now it's time for the dessert. There you go. Go ahead, take the picture. Right. Fancy. Looks good. Okay, as I mentioned for you. This is called the Lost Slipper, and look at that. It's kind of like a chocolate dome, and then the uh, slippers on the inside there. So funny, isn't it? Can't wait to actually dive in there. Ooh, oh wow, there's a flower. Beautiful. Alright, this chocolate goodness here. I'm gonna dive in there. I don't wanna break the I don't wanna break the sip uh, slipper yet. I'm gonna take the flower. There we go. Ooh. Excellent. A little flower, a little chocolate, and a little raspberry. That is so delicious. And I also think there's some other flavors inside the slipper itself. Oh yeah, I gotta get all that out. And then break off some of that chocolate. That's the way to do it. Now it's time to move along, but I like how the restrooms say lords and ladies. Lords and ladies. Oh my lord, on the way out? Oh, thank you very much. Wow. You just got knighted, sir. Thank you. Wow, this is some, this is a, this is great. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. <laughs> That was so amazing. I love eating inside Cinderella's Royal Table, but eating at Cinderella's Royal Table on the 50th anniversary, I mean, that's, that's really cool. And we got a little sword, because they gave us a sword and some stars as well. Hi, friend. <laughs> hey, how are ya? <laughs> what a great day! <laughs> it is now officially 5.20, and you can see people are lining up for enchantment already. Holy moly. I mean, it is crowded in here today. Now I think it's time we get another attraction in. And honestly, it's not that bad of wait times today. Most people are waiting for merchandise or popcorn buckets. The rides kind of are just like not being used. Uh, Seven Doors Mine Train is only a 45 minute wait. And you would think on the 50th anniversary and a day when there is no more official park hopping, it would be longer than a 45 minute wait, but it's not. I'm gonna hang out with my friend Haley, and she has a channel, Diz Cupcake, and look at your dress. Wonderful, 50th anniversary themed. Happy 50th. Happy 50th, yeah. And she actually got a lot of the merchandise. Her channel is really uh, a lot of great merchandise, so she's probably got some glimpse of the stuff I wasn't able to get early this morning. So you have to check out her video, but we're gonna go ride Seven Doors Mine Train. Even though this isn't an opening day attraction, you can't turn down Seven Doors Wine Train on the 50th anniversary. I'm gonna secure my sword 
right in here. Thank you. Will do. <laughs> this is awesome. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so much fun I love being here there are so many great friends and riding some rides and just enjoying Walt Disney World on its 50th anniversary I really did want to try to focus to all the 50th anniversary merchandise and snacks and everything like that but most importantly I want to have fun and show you why Walt Disney World has been around for 50 years because it is such a magical place and it's such a place it's it's amazing to make these memories today so we're gonna move along and we're gonna do another opening day attraction and this one probably is my second favorite opening day attraction my friend Haley who you guys just met I wrote seven doors mine train gave me one of these I'm celebrating buttons that are getting made in the uh, Christmas shop isn't that amazing look how nice that 50th looks I'm celebrating the 50th because we're running into so many friends and we're enjoying all the different attractions I have another friend to ride Peter Pan's flight with me and it's Jackie, super enthused. Look at you! I like how you panned over to me. You did a Peter Pan. Oh, you're clever. How long did it take you to think of that one? Well, you were really? Like, While well, I was panning, you were doing a Peter Pan like pun. The wheels were turning. Oh, think about that. It's like a tongue it's twister. A Peter Pan pun. Peter Pan pun. While you're panning. Oh, yo, while you're panning. Let's go ride. Correction though, Peter Pan's flight is not an opening day attraction. Jackie told me it's a October 2nd opening attraction. So it officially opens tomorrow. We're a day early. We're a day early. It was set to open, but I think there was technical difficulties, so it didn't open till the uh, second day. But we're gonna ride it today. Luckily, I brought my sword with me. Hi, friend. Ooh. Just in case we come across any pirates. Oh! oh, oh Did that just happen? Ooh. May I have your attention? Please remain seated. This ride has stopped temporarily and will resume motion at any time. Please remain seated for your own safety. Starting immediately for your safety, please remain seated. Thank you. There they are. 
that we've gotten a couple more rides out of the way, I want to check back on Main Street USA, see what the firework crowds are like, and then we're going to actually try to decide if we need to start looking for a spot or if we have time to actually just mingle around a little bit. Merchandise probably is a no-go. I don't think I can get in and most of the stuff sold out. And also, the mobile ordering like for the food items, like for the 50th, the wait times or the return times are after the fireworks. So I wanted to try the Casey's hot dog, but the the, the next available pickup time is 9.45 tonight. How crazy is that? Look at this. Still three hours to go until the fireworks actually are starting and a lot, a lot of people. Honestly, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. I don't have a big game plan. I guess once it just gets closer to the firework time, I'm just gonna step in somewhere. I mean, this is <laughs> this is great. I'm actually happy to see this many people being so super happy about the 50th anniversary. That's like the coolest thing. There's a lot of passionate Disney fans out here today. We have been trying a lot of the 50th anniversary drinks, including the secret lemonade drink. That was really cool. That changed colors inside Cinderella's Royal Table. I think that's at all the different sit-down restaurants, but they do have some other ones that are at different uh, quick uh, service stops and one of them's here at the Sleepy Hollow Refreshments that's Haunted Mansion themed so I had to come try that one at least and uh, the line's not too bad right now earlier I was seeing lines going all the way over uh, I think they were actually stretching out that side and they had somebody that was letting people cross here and now it kind of just looks like a maybe five ten minute wait here it is, take a look at this. The Doomberry. It's a blackberry ginger bear with iridescent sugar served in a Haunted Mansion themed straw. I had to get it. Doesn't it look kind of refreshing? I'm excited. And to uh, cheers with my Doomberry, I ran into my friends, the Wheelers, and cheers guys. Cheers. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, kind of tastes like the inside of the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> That's like the best way to describe it. It tastes like the inside of the Haunted Mansion. Ooh, like the attic scene. The attic scene. Yep, de yes. <laughs> I figured I'd bring the Doomberry over to the Haunted Mansion, but it looks like the Haunted Mansion is closed at the moment, but the caretakers are out walking the dogs. Oh, zero? Zero calories every single day. Oh, fancy! Look at this! But I have a giraffe. Oh! I thought he was sitting. Oh, there we go. This man thinks he's so funny. What's what's the giraffe's name though? Nuggets. What is it? Nuggets. Nuggets. I like zero better. Time is going by so quick here, but I think we better head out to the hub area and hold down a spot so that we can watch the fireworks. I mean, this is going to be a big, big thing, and a lot of people are super excited. So uh, being two hours early isn't even going to guarantee us a good spot. Here we are, and holy moly, it is full in here. Main Street USA is full two hours before the fireworks. This is intense. Holy moly. Well, it's a tight situation, but we are on Main Street, and it's kind of where I wanted to watch the fireworks. I'm with a bunch of friends, too. Look at We're holding down a good spot, and uh, yeah, it's going to happen soon. I'm very excited. Since we're sitting right here for the next hour and a half, I think we're actually going to get the 50th anniversary hot dog from Casey's. And this isn't your regular hot dog. This is a very fancy hot dog with funnel cake on it. And uh, I'm excited to try it. Well, I'm not gonna eat it all. We're all gonna like kind of break it apart, but it's definitely gonna be interesting. And it looks super busy in there too. I mean, everywhere's busy. <laughs> Look at Casey's. It's like it's back in the olden days here. And right here is the 50th celebration hot dog. And that's what I'm gonna try today. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna be so adventurous. Take a look at this. Holy moly. You can see the funnel cake, the powdered sugar, and the bun is actually a different bun too. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> 
So we decided on getting the hot dog, like I said, and we're all gonna try to share it and cut it up. But look at us here. Like this is like <laughs> an unlikely, uh, uh, unlikely spot to actually be cutting up a hot dog. <laughs> all right. Ready? Yeah. Cheers! Hot dog, hot dog, hot, hot diggity, diggity dog! dog. <laughs> I love it! Strawberry jam, funnel cake, and uh, powdered sugar on a hot dog. I can do this. I, I like it. Yeah. Good. Wow. That is actually really strange, strange, but good. I can do this. I can dig it. <laughs> the hot dog was good, and now it's back and almost time for enchantment. Just a couple minutes away, so I think we're just kind of relaxing and drinking mint juleps nice. with fancy straws. Just oh, yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Love it. Love it. <laughs> oh boy, we're clapping. Whoa!
and realize that you have everything you need to be all good. Come true. Anything is possible, for you are the magic. so funny because also we had some friends that were just about 20 feet away from us and we didn't even know. I could have like waved. Yeah, you could have been like, hi. I could have put yeah. this on a selfie stick. Oh, yeah. We were here for the 50th, we were close. You were here. That's the way. And I like that Haunted Mansion chart. <laughs> Happy 50th, friends. Happy 50th. <laughs> and with that, I think I am done here today. What a memorable day for me today. Honestly, I'm gonna cherish the memories I made today for such a long time. Got to hang out with some amazing friends and celebrate an amazing, the world's most magical celebration. And I got to meet so many new friends. If I met you today, thank you for saying hi. If we got to take a photo, thank you so much. It was seriously such an epic day. And the fireworks were amazing. Honestly, like I feel like I can like every show, you know? I mean, I loved Happily Ever After because of the music, but I can tell you right now, Disney Enchantment, the fireworks are way better, and the projections on Main Street are phenomenal. I mean, they're not as good as Disneyland, but it's really awesome to see it here. And the, like I said, the fireworks were huge. I think it's a lot different when you are actually seeing it in front of the castle instead of seeing it like live streamed or anything like that. But I mean, wow, this was such an amazing day. I am so happy. And like I said, I'm gonna remember the 50th forever. And I hope you enjoyed my journey along on the 50th. And I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye. And on the way out, I grabbed myself a fresh, nice little 50th map and a 50th photo that they're just handing out to everybody. How awesome is that? Posters? Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fancy. I love it. And take a look at this, guys. The 50th anniversary celebration. To everyone visiting the Magic Kingdom tonight, good evening. 
since 1971, the electrical water pageant has lit up the shores of Bay Lake, entertaining generations of dreamers from the young to the young at heart. As we celebrate 50 